All right, thanks, Jay. Well, it's a move that could change the lives of dozens of middle school students in Sioux Falls. The Boys and Girls Club of the Sioux Empire is partnering with the Sioux Falls School District to give kids a safe and convenient place to go after school. Kettle Lance Tom Hansen shows us what they're planning. Community leaders, parents, and kids packed the auditorium at George McGovern Middle School. <laughs> Superintendent Jane Stavum had some special news for the sixth graders in the room. George McGovern will be the home of the very first middle school boys and girls club of the Sioux Falls Empire. Yeah. That a big, big deal. The Boys and Girls Club and the Sioux Falls School District announced that for the first time they are building a Boys and Girls Club on school property. The two entities will build an addition directly onto the middle school. Principal Tim Kohler calls this a great opportunity for his students. With our school being so far away from a neighborhood, um, we often don't have a place for our students to go. And just the, the idea that they can walk right through one door, right into the Boys and Girls Club in the next building, is just an awesome, awesome thing. The 16,000 square foot addition will include a gym, an innovation lab, a teaching kitchen, and social spaces. Superintendent Stavum says the project will transform the way they serve students and prepare them for the future. We want kids to have a place to belong after school. They have a, a great opportunity um, during the school day, but we want that enrichment factor, the tutoring, the snacks, and everything that goes with a high quality after school program as well. The Boys and Girls Club CEO Stacy Jones says a lot of work went into making this happen, but has no doubt it will pay off. I see a lot of happy kids. I see a lot of kids experiencing something they've, they've never experienced before, and I cannot wait for that building to open. Boys and Girls Club construction will begin next spring and should be open by the fall of 2025. Tom Hansen, Kello Land News. And funding for the project comes from the Seeds for Success Foundation and T. Denny Sanford.